guys, it's Jessie V. And as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about the very creepy My Twin Dolls. Dolls used to be pretty creepy back in the day, and I say back in the day, but this was like after I was born in the 90s. But you know how much I love to talk about this stuff, so I'm gonna continue this doll series whenever I can. If you have any creepy dolls that you want me to talk about, definitely comment it down below. And if you've owned a My Twin Doll or know someone who has, comment that as well. I'm very glad that I never did. You know what? I think that I've worn this lightning bolt necklace for the last like week straight of making videos. It's my new favorite thing. <laughs> it's made out of real shell. It's so pretty if you guys would like one. I have linked it down below. It comes in a set with earrings. But I'm just gonna get right into today's video talking about the history of my twin dolls. Now these dolls were also known as the Just Like Me dolls. And they were first created on Christmas of 1996. That was literally right after my sister was born. They are customizable mail order dolls designed to look like their owners. The buyer picks the outfit, eye color, hair color, and skin tone of the doll. They send in a photo of the child that the doll is for, and then the doll's face is personally sculpted to match that child. There's even full-sized outfits that you can buy so you can wear the same outfit as your doll, just to make you even look more alike than your customizable twin. Now, when these dolls were first launched, people went crazy over them, and the detail was eerily precise to what each child looked like, you were basically ordering a little doppelganger that would just sit in your room and stare at you. Now, these dolls were not cheap at all. I believe the starting price was $150, and that didn't even cover the costs of the different outfits that you may want, the different accessories. I feel like it's kind of like going to build a bear or something. Like the bear seems cheap, but once you get everything else, oh, it's a lot of money. And the doll arrives approximately 45 days after you order it, which I don't think is too bad for a fully customizable doll. They were also approximately 23 inches tall. So when the company was first producing these dolls, they were doing very well and really tried to make sure the quality of their dolls was amazing. The thing was, once millions of people caught on and began ordering, they found it hard to really keep up with the demand. So they weren't able to put as much detail into each doll like they once were. Because like I said, they just didn't have enough time, resources, staff to do that. So by 2001, people were complaining that their dolls didn't look personal enough. Some people even called them out for sending out the same dolls to multiple people. It was like they saw a kid with brown hair, green eyes, so they just sent out a doll with those two things without customizing any other physical features. They started to get 19,000 calls from angry parents every single day until they finally shut down in 2002. What's so strange though is that Walmart still sells My Twin Doll outfits on their website. I have no idea why because they've been closed since 2002. But maybe people still use their dolls and display their dolls. I don't know. Like I said, comment down below if you have one. I really need to know. But also let me know if you would ever order something like this if it was still around. I'm sure there are companies and businesses out there who do still do this type of thing but do you really want a mini version of yourself? I feel like there's been horror movies about that. So there was this kind of creepy phenomenon going on with these dolls where the eyes were suddenly turning red. One creepy thing that kept coming up in my research was people saying that after having their dolls for almost 30 years, they're noticing the eyes are beginning to turn red. And there are tons of pictures on Google that people are uploading of these dolls suddenly looking super evil as they age. And if we're trying to think logically about this, the color change change could be from all the years that the doll was exposed to sunlight, but what I don't understand is how like bright blue eyes could suddenly turn dark red. I would understand if the doll originally had a darker eye color that maybe lightened to sort of a red tone, but that's not the case for all of them. I did find an unsettling story about a family that had been hearing noises in their attic on and off for about 15 years, and they just assumed it was mice or small animals because they lived pretty isolated in the countryside, and it's not unusual for animals to get into your attic, especially in the colder months, but sometimes those sounds sounded like little footsteps running above them. Well, they sold their house one day and went up into the attic to grab any storage they would want 
to take with them when they saw the My Twin doll just sitting there beside some old boxes. Even in the dim light, they could see her red eyes almost glowing in the shadows. And what was even creepier was that the dust around her was disturbed as if she had been walking around just moments prior. Now, because I'm kind of crazy, I went on to eBay and I actually bought one of these red eyed dolls. So the one that I bought, her eyes used to be like a really light green color and now it's red. So, and what's so weird is that if you go onto some of those sites looking at my twin dolls, but the ones that have eyes that turned red are selling for like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, like a really cheap price. It's like these people are really trying to get rid of them. So I took one off their hands. I'll definitely unbox it on my vlog channel when it gets here. I'm I'm a little afraid. I also found these weird rumors from people saying the doll's hair was real human hair and that's why they were shut down. But I don't think this was actually the case. This is just like a silly rumor, I assume. Although I did check Etsy to see if they had any of these dolls available to purchase. And I did find some listings that said my twin long human hair doll. So take that for what you will. I also found another creepy story called the mystery doll. There's this girl that said that when she was 12, her doorbell rang when she was home alone after school and her parents had always told her not to open it when they were still at work. So she just looked through the peephole and she saw this doll just sitting on her porch. So of course, because she was curious, she opened up the door and picked up the doll and she was surprised to see that it looked just like her. It had the same hair color, the same eye color and some beauty spots in the exact same place as her face. What's really disturbing about this story is that they never found out who sent this doll to her. Her parents called all of their relatives and friends and no one owned up to giving her this gift. And I feel like the rest of my life, I'd be looking over my shoulder to see if someone was watching me in the neighborhood because like that's like stalker behavior. That would not be okay. If a doll that looked exactly like me showed up on my doorstep, I'd probably move. Anyways though guys, those are all the things I wanted to talk about, about the My Twin dolls. Like I said, if you want me to continue doing this creepy doll series, give this video a thumbs up and let me know and comment any doll brands that you want me to do next. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you have an awesome rest of your day and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!